Every time someone comes over, they're amazed at the space. They absolutely love it. And the first thing they, they do ask us is, where did you get your kitchen from? Hi, my name is Maniza, and this is my husband, Zaki. And we live here with our lovely sons, Sammy and Mikhail. We moved in about two years ago, and the kitchen was quite dated. I just found I was spending too much time preparing food and not being able to speak to you know, friends, family, um, just being stuck in the kitchen and it wasn't much fun. The way we wanted the space to be designed was so that it was far more open, um, I could keep an eye on the children. We wanted it to be fit for modern day family use, somewhere where we could eat, work, watch the kids, entertain. We wanted it to be the focal point of the house. We went to a few competitors. We sat, got the kitchen design done. But to be honest, we didn't feel we had the expertise from the designers. They weren't, they weren't very forthcoming with ideas and there wasn't much on display. And the whole experience wasn't anything comparable to what we had with Wren Kitchens. So my view when I saw the showroom for the first time is we're sport for choice. Having seen several other competitors on the high street, every single thing on display was of a very high quality and, and very good standard. Everything was clearly labeled. You knew exactly what you're looking at, what it did, how it worked. It was accessible, it was clean, it was neat, and everyone was very friendly. It was really nice not to have people come and bombard you with, you know, what would you like? Do you need help with something? Um, I just love to be able to have time to look around. It was extremely family friendly. What we saw with the competition was there was, you know, keep taking children with you is a challenge. You need to keep them busy. And in many of these stores, there's, there's other dangerous things that you don't want your kids near. So you've got to keep constantly watch that. But Ren was so child friendly. They always settled them first, asked the boys, would you like to play some games or watch a movie? Um, even before they asked us for tea and coffee. And I think that was really special because it meant I didn't need to worry about what the boys are going to be getting up to and you know, constantly coming back, mummy, I want this and mummy, I'm bored. We really like going in to the game room where you put those in. Yes. Yeah, the VR goggles and you see what a house is going to be like. I wanted something that stood out a little bit and I really didn't want to go for the clinical look. Zaki did prefer the matte finish, but I fell in love with the wood grain effect and just the look of it and the feel of it, the texture, I just knew that's what I wanted to go for. Initially, how we designed it, we had the cashmere um, for all parts of the kitchen, including the island. But it was, I think, on the third visit that I saw on display a two-tone effect and I absolutely loved it and I decided where I didn't want the dark colour on the most parts of the kitchen, um, on the island, it just worked really well with the white quartz worktop. We were very lucky, our, our designer, uh, Prajot, he was an artist and he was a perfectionist and I think we needed that. And I think having someone like that backed up by the technology you used in design process and the product you have, the quality, it just all fit well together like a glove. We knew immediately that we wanted certain brands. We've had Bosch um, appliances before and we we're really happy with those. For me, it was a no-brainer. I grew up on Bosch products. I was very confident in whatever we purchased from Bosch, it will just do what it says on the box and it'll do it very well. Once we designed and paid for the kitchen, we were waiting for the delivery. Uh, I think that's when my impression of Wren really, really went to another height because you turned up in a brand new spanking clean van. Three men came out from the van. The first one came first and introduced himself as a supervisor of the delivery. He showed me a, a full article of, of items and he gave me a copy. He said, this is the manifest of what we're delivering to you. The delivery team worked with the builders for about an hour to determine where to put the items correctly so that when they built them, they built them in the proper order. Things like that are not very easy to cover off and that just shows Ren how far they went above and beyond on the whole process. <laughs>